we should know by now how to transform word problems into mathematical expressions. Now we'll learn the other way around, how to transform mathematical expressions into words, or describe numerical expressions using words. We have here 2 times 5. How we could translate this into words? There are many ways to do this. Let's find some of them. For example, 2 times 5. Or the double of 5. Doubles always means multiplied by 2, or times 2. The product between 2 and 5. 10 minus 5 plus 3. We can say take 5 out of 10, then add 3. Or we can say 10 minus 5 plus 3. Or we can say the difference between 10 and 5, then add it with 3. 20 divided by the sum of 4 and 1. You notice that here we have a group, so we have to express this into words. For example, 20 divided by the sum of 4 and 1. The sum of 4 and 1 is a group and will translate back with parentheses. Let's see what happens now if we don't have the parentheses. The order of operations is changed. Now the first thing to do is divide 20 to 4. We can express this simply as split 20 into 4 equal parts, then add 1. Compare the two expressions. They have different mathematical expressions, they have different word problems, and they have a different result. All because the order of the operations. The numbers are the same. Let's take now a harder one. 3 plus 2 times 3 minus 10 divided by 2. Let's begin with 3 plus. We can say the sum of 3 and. We continue with 2 times 3. The product of 2 with 3. And we continue with 10 divided by 2. Subtract it by the division of 10 by 2. Now this should be simple. 3 multiplied with the sum of 2 and 4. We have to describe this group. So we have 3 times a group, the sum of 2 and 4. 